Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris Coverdale. In today's video, we will go over how to bypass the Windows 11 hardware requirements. So let's get over to the desktop. So here, standalone ESXi host, Windows 11 VM. And you can see that it has two core, which is the minimum requirement of Windows 11. There's no way to bypass that. You have to have two, two cores, two CPUs, uh, memory, four gig, hard disk, 64 gig. I believe 52 gig is the minimum for Windows 11. And I read 8 gig was the minimum also, 8 gig of memory. So here we only have 4. We do have enough hard disk space, but there is no uh, TPU chip in the VM. None's added. So with that, let's get started. Powered on. Do have the console open already let's get rid of this guy images mounted So booting into Windows, installer, and at the install screen, what we'll do here is we'll hit Shift F10. That'll take you to the command prompt and edit the registry. So here in the registry, we need to create a key under system and set up local machine system setup and new key the new key will be lab config and within lab config we need to create three new D words bypass TPM check Bypass secure boot and bypass RAM check. <clears throat> Need to set all these to one. And that should get us through the hardware requirement to install Windows 11. The other thing we'll go over in the video is how to bypass the security questions and also uh, offline installation. Okay, so finally made it through. And on the VM, we will disconnect the network.
just to give us a true no network connectivity situation for the offline installer the US so here it is basically it won't let you go any further in the installation so here you'll shift F10 again take you out to the command prompt OBE bypass NRO the system will restart you have to go through the whole setup process again however the next time you're at that same screen it will allow you to continue with no internet okay so here we are again and there's the option that it didn't give us initially I don't have internet so you can continue through that continue with limited setup now here for your name enter your name here or whatever admin account you'd like to use or user account password this is how you get through the security questions so don't put a password here and what you'll do is once the OS is completely installed get to the desktop and we will be able to add a password at that point on the user account Okay, so we're back at the desktop, and at this point, right click the start button, computer management, and you go to local users groups, users, there's the user account that we just created named user, right click that, set password, proceed, and here you can set the password on the account and there's no need for any security questions so if we sign out and sign back in need the password All right, that's it for the video today. If you guys enjoyed this video or it was of any help to you, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll try to provide more videos like this in the future.